Hello, the pen inspiration up here. Today I'm coming to you with a new video on how to set up your auto relay. Now I'm pretty excited to have received my relay today and I can't wait to share the tutorial with you. Let's get straight into the video. See ya. So to begin with, I would highly recommend that you go to the hardware setup um, page to read a bit about how to set up the relay but i'm gonna do this with you i'm gonna go through the process with you um take note of the fact that i haven't prepped this because i only have one hardware so i'm everything i'm gonna be doing with you i'm gonna be doing this in a live session so when you're on the page and you want to learn how to do this you can go to the setup guide and here there's everything is well detailed out here that it makes it very easy to follow how to set up with your process. So to begin with what I'm going to do, um, the installation process is going to be two ways. So the first stage, we're going to set up the hardware device on its own. And in the second stage, we're going to do an upgrade. We're going to update the firmware of the hardware setup. So to begin with, you're going to power on the device. And like you see here, um, the red light should be rotating. And when, you, when the relay is putting up and once this is ready, we expect to get a steady light so i'm trying to record also my hardware here so that you see how this would be so that it gives you a perspective or an idea of um, how the whole setup looks from the hardware perspective i hope that the colors would show up quite well in the camera that you can also follow the process so now my hardware is plugged in as you can see um, the green light is blinking i mean it's revolving like you see in the setup image and when this light turns solid red then it means that the device is ready Okay, so I reduce the, light, the brightness of the video so that you could see this very well. So as you can see, I have a solid red light, which means that the device is technically ready to set up. So what I also read is that if you do not have a steady red light, but instead you have anything blinking, um, it means that the power supply that you are using is not sufficient. So as is indicated here, you need a minimum of 15 watts, which is 5 volts and 3 amperes. So the device is ready. So what you have to do is to go into your wireless network settings, like it states here. So we're going to have to pair the device to activate a pairing mode and then when the pairing mode is activated we can connect to the device's wireless address so i'm going to go into the device i'm going to press the blue button like it says here for three seconds okay so now the blue light is pairing which means that my device is actually in pairing mode so i'm going to go into my wireless setting and i'm going to look for the relay app and as you can see here they say that the password is ionon.io so this is not a pin because it's not going to be number so i'm going to click connect using the security key instead and i'm going to paste in the security key and i'm going to press on next and here i'm just going to choose yes okay so as you see when the device is connected it automatically loads a window where the, the rest of the setup would take place so the window is called really app.home and then i'm going to click on agree and then here I'm going to put in the password um, to log in into that back end. So when you go through the tutorial, yeah, it says here that the default password is admin. So I'm just going to copy this here, go into the web wizard and I'm going to paste this in. And I'm going to click on, if you're not sure, you can click on the I to make sure that you have the right thing. I'm going to click on login. So I'm going to close this because I don't want to save that password. And as I said, so it says that the Anon really works best over Ethernet. So in my case, I'm going to enable Ethernet because I would like to do the connection um, through Ethernet. So I'm going to keep this as it is. If you choose disable, then you would have a next option where you're going to put in the wireless SSID of your wireless network and the password as well. But like I said, in my case, I'm going to do this with Ethernet. So I'm going to keep this as it is and I'm going to click on next. And then here I do not, like I said, I'm not going to use a Wi-Fi, so I'm going to skip this option. So I'm going to press on skip. And then I'm going to put in the name that I would like to call my relay. So I'm going to call this the pin inspiration hub, hub hardware. And then for my email, I'm going to put in my email address. And then when this is done, I'm going to click on next. Okay, so like you see here, it says that the hardware, the, the nickname has to be up to 19 characters. So I'm just going to remove the hardware option and I'm going to give it the pin inspiration hub. And let's click on next now. And then now it says to be eligible to receive the, the ETH um, rewards or the rewards um, you would need to put in your ETH address. So here you're going to put in um, your ETH address that is up where your NFT is appended. So I'm going to go and copy my um, ETH address with the NFT and I'm going to paste this in here. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to paste in my wallet address. And then I'm going to click on next. And then here, 
um, you would need to activate port forwarding on your router for the device to be able to connect to your so for the device to be able to connect to the um ator or the anon back end so here the default port is 9001 i'm going to keep this out of this i'm not going to change anything so like you said like it says here are you a pro you can change these settings i'm going to leave everything as a default and i'm just going to click on next and then it says that please wait the relay is being configured so as you can see in the image um the lights are so i have a green light which is uh, moving around so it means that the device is currently working I mean, the process I'm going to go to the setup guide and I'm going to see what the next step is going to be. So we have done all this. It currently says that the relay is being configured and it says check lights for connectivity. So at this point, it's red because I haven't connected anything to it. I'm going to connect my Ethernet cable to the device now. So after I, after I connected the Ethernet cable, you can see that the right, so the right um, light here is green, which means that I'm using an Ethernet. If you are using a Wi-Fi, the one on the left is going to turn green. So in the next stage, like it says here, you would have to go into your router settings and activate the port forwarding for your relay. So I'm going to do this from the back end in my router. I do not know how it is going to be for your router because every router seems to have a different setting um, on how to do this. But I think you can go go this and find out how to do this with your router. So, okay, now I have um, done the port forwarding for my device, um, for my router. And um, to be sure that this is working, you can go to portchecker.io or .co, sorry. And then here, it's going to show the IP address that you currently have. And then under port number, just put in 9001 and then click on check. So in my case, you see that the um, port is open, which means that my relay is up and it's currently communicating or it's connected to the Atoll backend. So that is done. So what I'm going to do next um, is going to be to open relayapp.local. So I'm going to come up here. So I'm going to copy this URL. Actually, you can just click on this. I'm going to click on it. So that it connects to my relay backend. So as you can see, now I'm connected to the dashboard and I'm going to put in the password that we use at the beginning, which is called admin. I'm going to make sure that it says I'm going to click on login and I'm going to close this. So currently, um, I'm going to, oh, I lost the page, but I'm going to go back to the page and open the hardware setup, um, just for reference. I mean, I use this, I can do this without the hardware, but I used it for you to also see that everything is quite well outlined here. So as you can see, um, we are in this stage. So we logged in um, to the control panel. We put in the password. And then it says on the home page under network settings, set check for re um, reachability status indicated with VPN or our port status. Um, this takes a few minutes for this to perform. So I'm going to go to the back end. So for my dashboard, I think everything is working perfectly. So here you can see VPN or port is okay, which means that the port forwarding is working. And I also checked this with a port checker. So I'm pretty sure everything is fine here. So if you were successful in configuring your relay and everything is up and running, you would see a very rewarding, calm, pulsating blue or sunlight just like you see in this video, right? So in the beginning, I misread a bit. I was somehow thought that the update of the hardware is required for everyone, but I got to be no, I got corrected that this is only required for those who picked up their hardware at ETH Denver. So technically, if you did not pick your hardware there, you do not need to update your hardware. I mean, just go into the dashboard and if you see that at least to the states or the day that I'm recording this video, which is on the 13th of April, um, 2024 if the hardware version is 1.3.2 you do not need to update the firmware right but if you have something otherwise then it means that you need to update the firmware and the process is well outlined um, on the hardware setup page thanks again for watching this video and staying this long i mean if you're part of this project i think i feel very 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 honored and um, to have the opportunity to to be part of this network and also if you're successful in having your hardware like you do i mean thumbs up to you i think we're not going to regret being a part of the network if you do have any questions um, or any difficulty when setting up your hardware please put us in the um, the comment section or you can also reach out to the team directly on discord and we would be very very happy to help you thanks again for watching please remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more gems that i'll be uploading have a nice rest of the day see ya